Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and in this video today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up and use the recipe API. Now this tutorial is for mod developers only so if you are not a mod developer but you still want to add items through the API go, go ahead and check out the configuration method because that is aimed more at the general player and there's a link in the description on how to use it. But anyway let's get into this. What you're going to need to do first is go ahead and download the API so I'll put a link in the description and it should take you to this page here just scroll down until you get to this download section click on download and you'll be downloading a jar file then what you want to do is you want to go to your modding uh, environment location where all the files are and it should look something should look something like this and if you are a mod developer you should be quite familiar with this what you need to do is create a new folder in here called libs now this is not actually generated by default but what will happen is when you actually build your mod it will take the libraries inside of this libs folder um, into consideration when building it just so it doesn't give errors because you're referencing um, a library which doesn't exist so we actually gotta um, give it that library so you want to put your jar file inside of that libs folder and it should be recipe api version 1.0 or whatever version you are using you could be watching this in the future, so it might be version 1.1. Now that you've got that in the libs folder, what we need to do is go back into um, Eclipse here. Now I'm not sure how to do this on other Java editors, um, you'll have to figure that out yourself, but in Eclipse, you're going to right click on your project up here, go Properties, Java Build Path, Libraries, Add External Jar, and then you're going to locate the jar file. Now I've already got it up here, but um, I'll just go to it again, so mine's in Minecraft, Cray Tokens 1.7.10, and then Libs here, double click on that, or oh, double click, yeah, and then press OK. And now we've got a reference to the recipe API. Now to start adding your own custom recipes, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new class, and we're just going to call this one Register Recipes. Now you can call it whatever you want, doesn't really matter. Um, and inside of the class we're going to create a public static void method now make sure it is a public static void method or it is not going to work so public static void and then you can call it whatever you want so we're just going to call it register custom recipes and then the parameters is the important bit so you want to type in i recipe registry and then we're just going to call this recipe I oh, know we're going to call it registry registry squiggly brackets open it up and then you'll need to import this so you just highlight over it, import it and this is where we can start registering our recipes now to start off any recipe we've got to create a new instance of recipe variables and this is basically a class which stores all the data in so we store the input item for the oven we store the output item so the input item could be the item that's going to be cooked the output item is the result of the uh, cooked input item go ahead and import that now before we continue we're just going to highlight over recipe variables here and take a look at the java docs so we're going to be adding an oven today and I've added this uh, table down here to show you which variables are required and there's also some optional variables but there's none for the uh, freezer oven and printer only my bay um, at the moment uh, but we're adding an oven recipe so we require an input and an output uh, but for the input we require an item stack for the output is an item stack so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to type in oven dot add value so we need an input item if we have a look here again so for the oven we need an input so the first bit here we're going to type in input as a string and then for the object here we're going to type in new item stack so this is the item that's going to be cooked uh, and we're just going to use vanilla items if you know what you're doing you should know how to add in mods how to, how to use items from your own mod And we're just going to do carrot, just tutorial purposes. Uh, then we're just going to import them. So we've set the import item, but we also need 
to have an output item as well and that's going to be an item stack too so oven dot add value output as a string there and a new item stack I'm going to type in items dot and then we might just like saying random I don't know potato so carrot turns in potato makes sense not really but <laughs> you get it now we've set the input and the output item uh, with item stack as well you can add in uh, metadata so you might just do metadata 5 uh, you could do metadata 9 uh, but carrot doesn't really have any metadata so we're not gonna do it now to finalize the recipe what we're going to do is actually uh, call we'll use this parameter up here called registry so registry dot register recipe so the type we're creating here is an oven so we type oven as a string there and for the params which is the recipe variables simply just copy that into the second um, argument there and then finish it off with a semicolon so that's how to add an oven recipe we're just simply going to do a mind bay recipe now this is different so if we just quickly take a look at the java doc here um, the required variables is only an input item and that has to be an item stack and we've got some optional variables which is the currency so the mon the item that you have to pay to get the input item uh, and that has to be an item stack too then we've also got the price which has to be an integer so let's do that now so we're going to create a new instance of recipe variables and we're going to call it mine bay now you can call it whatever you want I'm just calling it mine bay equals new recipe variables so type in mine bay dot add value so we need an input item and there has to be an item stack so we might just do that items dot um, nether star I might put that in and then we're going to set the currency to say so currency and there has to be an item stack as well set it to um, apple and then we'll set the price so mine bay dot add value price and then just simply type in a number so we might make it 10 10 apples for one nether star now simply finish off by registering it so register recipe type in mine bay as the string and for the recipe variables simply just copy that put it into the second argument finish off with a semicolon now we're not completely done we've actually got to tell my mod to actually call this method here so we can register the custom recipe so we're going to go back to, to, to our mod class here and inside of the initialization method not the pre or post just the uh, the initialization one we're going to type in fml inter mod comms dot send message and the mod id is cfm the second parameter is register and the third one is the oopsie hold up get rid of that and the third one is the path to this method here so when you look at our package over here so it's com.mrcrayfish.tutorial we'll type that in first so com.mrcrayfish.tutorial then we need to reference our class here which is uh, register recipes now this is case sensitive so after after tutorial here we're going to type it in recipe register oh no register recipes let's see register recipes and then we're just simply going to copy this method name here put another dot at the end after there and then paste in the method name and then that will send that will send that message to my mod and then it will go ahead and uh, call the method from your mod now we're done what we're going to do is go ahead and build the mod so I'm just gonna I've got a custom back class here which I only have to click it instead of going right click open command prompt gradle w space build 
uh, I can just simply just double click this bat file and it do it automatically for me. And there we go, it's built already, that was quite quick. <laughs> go on libs here, and I'm just going to rename this to test mod. We're going to copy that, and then we're going to put it into a real environment. So I've put it into a, an environment with a, uh, a bunch of mods in here. And we're going to go ahead and load up the game now. So here we are in game, we're just going to test out our recipes. So if we open up the computer, you'll notice that if we just go back one, uh, we've got our nether star here, which is selling for 10 um, apples and if we go ahead and we get a carrot out and we pop that into the oven here you'll notice that you'll notice that it is now uh, cooking and once that is cooked it turns into a potato so there we go that's how you add your own custom recipes through the mod developers version and if you do decide to use this API in your mod let me know in the comments or on the Minecraft forum post because I am going to be compiling a list of mods that are using the recipe API and it's kind of a little bit of a promotion for uh, you guys out there so um, if you do use the API let me know and um, I'll just make sure that you are using it and if you are I'll put you onto the uh, list of mods um, that are using it. So there we have it uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure you hit that like button um, if you want to check out the configuration method, uh, again, link is in the description, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.